G'day guys, how's it going? On the way down to muck around with my 2009 V Holden Commodore SSV slash big slash Pontiac G8 GT. That's for the purists, okay? Anyway, so we're going down today to mess around with the console, try and get that notched out so we can get that um, that uh, ILX 309 in to fit nice. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, hopefully we'll be doing on a few other little things too, but um, I'm not sure until we get down there. But uh, anyway, without further ado, I suppose I'll see you blokes at the shop. I said blokes. Maybe there's a couple of chicks watching too. Sheila's, you know. But we'll see you at the shop, all right? Anyway, we'll see you down there. going on mate what do we got to do to get this thing to fit properly all right so to we have to graft the single din into the double din so that we can have a longer frame to support the weight of the box of the head unit also where these marks are here the radio has to sit in a little bit deeper than flush so that the screen sits where we want it. Right. So we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and cut the bottom half of this out and then graft this one deeper and back into its place so the radio sits where we want it. Alright, so 
So we successfully grafted it in, which we wanted to leave the larger cage for more support for the head unit since it's got that big screen. So that should work just right. Just right. I know I've mentioned to you guys before about the gauges that we're going to be running in the custom console. So these are the AEMs I have, which is trans temp, oil pressure, and air fuel ratio. So these are the ones we're going to go, and I've got the silver bezel on there instead of running the black bezel because it contrasts with the the body color console, and then the extra silver parts in the car is def definitely going to set it off. So here we have the aftermarket oil cooler and trans cooler. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be tapping into the trans cooler with the trans temp line, which is this baby right here. And um, so we've got to get a fitting to do so. Apparently that's where you get your best reading from is from your cooler. You can also go in the pan and the bell housing. So apparently the pan is second best and the bell housing is third best. So definitely going to go there. All right guys, so me and Dan are out doing a little bit of an excursion and uh, we're out searching for some little eight inch subbies to go in the parcel shelf of the G8. And this is what we found. What are those, mate? Legion, Audio Legion, uh, eight ohm, eight inch drivers. Perfect. Screamers. Awesome. So that's what we got, bloody cheap. I mean, compared to buying all that Alpine gear, this is uh, really budget stuff, but it's, it hits hard, so that's what we're doing. And now- It's all pro audio. Yep. And now we're off to uh, find some more speed wire and then we can get the uh, interior back together on the car. So yeah, that's what we're doing now. We'll see you back at the shop. So obviously what we have here is a stock crappy speaker, which ain't bad really. And then the new Audio Legion. It's a lot heavier, so better magnet means better sound. Right? Yes, sir. There we go. And that's the stock housing. Yep. She fits in, fits right in. Tap some holes, and that's it. Whoops. I lost that one in me pecker. Uh, it's in your pecker. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, Dan got these little 8 inch subbies mounted up. So we're just putting them back in the factory position and uh, we'll be good to go. But this is uh, just a lot better option than the, um, the stock factory ones. All right guys, so that's it for today. So that's part two of our audio install. And of course we talked about some of the gauges and stuff. But uh, do me a favor, if you like the video, hit that like for me because it does help with the algorithm. And if you like the content, bloody subscribe, will you? But I appreciate you tuning in. Have a good one, guys. Peace.